GG. Alright, let me rewatch the matchup with you guys. Like, the matchup isn't as deep as you should make it. Like, for Akshad matchup, you need to dodge his Q, and you will probably win the 1v1. I, I did it twice in a row just now for you guys to watch me. We played against this exact same Akshad twice. He could be arguably bad, but regardless, uh, this is like GM ELO, so... Yeah, we'll watch the first one. So, <clears throat> in the Akshad matchup, I always preach, no matter what, you run! You have to dodge the Akshan Q. I don't give a fuck who you are. You have to dodge it if you want to win the matchup. By the way, I ran the wrong runes in this matchup and I still won. I have no armor. I ran HP Shard against Akshan. And number two, I don't have Ignite. I want to Ignite, but <coughs> I think Flash Ghost is better. So I have HP Shard and I have no Bone Plating. I think Bone Plating is better in this matchup. Okay, Bone Plating Revitalize. So I have double wrong runes and I still won the matchup. Let's cover how. Dodge Akshan Q, auto Q, auto, he breaks PTA, I auto. Right here, boom, lethal tempo activated now. <coughs> Hold the range on him. Dink, boom, dodge the Akshan Q again. Keeping lethal tempo right here. Boom, 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 boom. That's how you win this matchup. Y you shouldn't flash ever for, for a kill like that, but yeah. Right there, I have wrong ruins, double wrong ruins, and I'm still winning the matchup. This is how one-sided the, the matchup is. If you just dodge the Akshan Q, if you get hit by it, you're fucked, right? And then right here, I go up and ego him because he's like 1 HP, right? Right here, auto. I'm just weaving in autos, weaving it in. I notice he's 1 HP, I can probably just go for it. Boom, boom, dead. My melee helped me with an auto attack, and it was a freak win. And again, double wrong runes, still won the matchup. Dodge the Ox on Q, that's it. Why never flash for that kill? Okay, let's go back. So, for this kill right here. <coughs> right here. This is very risky to do because. If he flashes and he he's out of the range, you will die. Because you won't get Triumph. And you won't get level 2. I think I get level 2 here if, if I kill him. So I will gain I, I will gain EXP here. And I will gain... um. He can ignite me too if he's good. But the biggest issue I see with the play like this is... Why do you need to flash? Why? Why do you need to risk it? To kill him? Didn't you... Did, aren't we, haven't we already won the matchup by just walking away? What is Akshan supposed to do now with 1 HP? Right? If you're Akshan here, what do you do? You have the base, so you lose this wave. You lose the next wave. And you and Vayne's already won. Why do I need to risk? Risk, um... Like, losing the matchup that I already won. Right? Even if I kill him... And I tank tower shots, it might be really bad. Because I can't push out the next wave. Right? To assert dominance. All right, <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Plus, if you're a Bonobo like me, you're gonna misclick the tower. True. Yeah. Then right here we push, 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 and then we just fuck off, and we win the matchup, right? Like you don't, you don't need to take unnecessary risks like that. Like, maybe like. A high octane player might go for that flash, right? Go for that flash, auto attack. Uh, Alshon flashes too. Uh, he levels up to level two as Vayne. He gets triumph proc, so he doesn't die. Two wave crashes and then bases, right? But it's still risky. I don't think you even fin I don't even think you finish the crash there as Vayne if you if you suicide there for the kill. It, it, like like I'm trying to play out what happens after you kill the Akshan, and it doesn't play out in my head properly, like to to fully crash in the wave. Because a low ELO player like me has a hard time making use of small advantages and identifying them properly. Right there, it's not even like... It's not even like the advantage that you get by just walking away. It's... It's... <coughs> the fact that I don't want to risk dying. And I want to go back to my wave because if you die there... Did you guys see where the wave was going? It's going towards Akshan. You're fucked. You are fucked if you die there. And the wave is slow pushing to Akshan. Fiddlesticks... Paths top, and then just kills you. 
GG. GG when you try to go push out the wave. There are there are so many bad things there that can happen if I flash versus the one good thing that will happen if I do flash. Best case scenario, I flash, I kill Akshan, I get his flash. I back off, push in the wave. I still don't fully push in the wave, by the way. It's like a half push because the third wave is coming. Because um, Vayne pushes super slow, right? And, and then he just fucked. <laughs> You're just fucked as Vayne. It's so bad. Right? So yeah, like, I, I would never flash there. Also, let's cover uh, what happened in this game. <coughs> so this game, we killed the Akshan level 1, and then I inted into him. Let's cover my int. So right here, we kill Akshan level 1. He's dead. Dead, dead, dead. Boom, boom, boom. He burns flash. I burn flash. Whatever, right? I get to top lane. I soak up the EXP, I lose the minions. Have you tried playing on EU? I have in the past. Eh, I was on like 120 ping. Okay, so this is how- I'm gonna show you guys how I inted, okay? Here's what not to do. Right here? I trade with Akshan. Because I'm level 2, he's level 1. I'm full HP, he's full HP, boom! Get hit by both Akshan Qs, that's bad. But let's keep going, I keep trading, he's level 1, I'm level 2, I keep trading. Look at this misclick. Wait for it, right here, I misclicked. Oh my god, I'm so bad at the game. If I autoed him right here, instead of misclicking, I would've killed him. Ready? I misclick. Twice! Twice, by the way. Twice. Then I auto. Q, no damage to finish him, because I didn't auto him that one time. Go fucking next, guys. Go next. Moral of the story, don't misclick. And now, look what happens. Look at the wave. This is very similar to the last game that I just bot reviewed for you guys, in front of you guys, right? Are we in queue, by the way? Um, is If you tower dive, right? And then, you, let's say you kill him and you die, right? Even if you kill him, and you somehow died, the wave would be somewhere like this. It'd be pushing towards him, he'd come back, and he'd have a big gigantic wave, while you come back and you have nothing. You're fucked. It's over. Toggle champions only? Uh, I misclicked the ground. I just missed his champion completely. And now I'm fucked. But I still came back in the matchup, because this guy's stupid. As Akshan, what you need to do here is you need to shave the wave down. You need to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You have 7 minions. You want to shave down to 9 in this situation. So you want to kill... You want to leave 1, 2, 3, 4 up. These three mage minions up. One cannon. So that's 4. You want to kill this two, these two mage minions right here. You want to kill these three mage minions. 100%. 1, 2, 3. Shave these three down. And then you want to kill that mage right there. And then I think it should be good. Wait, no, no, no. I take that back. You want to kill here three mages. This mage minion. This mage minion. And then this mage minion that's half HP. Or not even half HP, 90% HP, and then base. And then you base, you get back, and the wave is still pushing towards you. Vayne will come back and push out the wave. But at least, um... But at least, um... You get to catch the wave when it comes back. So this is a high level, like, wave manipulation technique that you need to do here. That mage, that mage, that mage, that mage. No, no, no. Three mages only, I take that back, sorry. So then that leaves, if you kill these three mages, one, two, three, it leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It leaves eight... Pushing towards this direction. Alternatively, you can kill 2-2, two, two, which is fine. You can kill these two mages right here. 1-2. And then base. And the wave will still be pushing towards the Akshan. But he, let's see what he did. He stayed. He's so stupid. Why would you do this? And then look what happens when I come back. Ha. <laughs> He has, to, he has to go base! He loses the wave anyways! It's so dumb!